for missing out. Is this the Disney journey that you should take your Spice Road table down? Princess the Bear here, and we're at Epcot today because it's time to return to Spice Road Table because this is still one of the most underrated table service restaurants on World Showcase. So it's your number yes. one choice of food and entertainment. We're here to show you why you should go. So remember, she's vegan. I'm not. All roads into Spice Road Table. Let's foodie and chill. I heard the girl. So here we have a beautiful hummus plate with charmoula. And the naan that it comes with is not vegan. It has milk in it. But you can ask for a vegan bread if you want to. This is a multi-grain bread. It's beautifully uh, seasoned and charred. So I'm just going to grab some hummus. And I'm going to put a little bit of charmoula on it because I love charmoula. Oop, oop, oop. I spilled it. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god. I don't know what's better. That or sana. They're like at the same level. So good. Um, flavorful, multi textured. This bread is good, but then the hummus is beautifully flavored and the charmoula is, is fire. I love this dish. It is a 4.75 out of 5 hummus. It only gets minus points because it's not vegan by default. This is the one restaurant on the World Showcase. When you come in here and you see the menu, you want to order everything, I say do it. Everything is her type of style. If you have a group of people, a group of friends, buy it all, try it all. You can tell them that I said that. Princess and the Bear said come, buy it all, try it all. So, we're gonna start off with the dips. Charmoula has become a new addiction of ours ever since our uh, Juicy Marble video. If you haven't watched that, Juicy Marble makes a uh, plant-based steak and ribs, actually. We have two videos. Do some marbles. Three. Three? No? Three is three? Watch. We'll be up here in the corner. One of these corners. The princess will put it in. Cheers. Charmoula is super easy to make, but I feel like if I ever bought one bottled, it would be an absolute disappointment. But I want to make more of it at home. It is so delicious. The pita bread is nice and soft, but still have that grilled flavor to it. Uh, it does have milk in it, not enough to cause me any issues, but obviously if you're, you're vegan, you should avoid and get the multi-grain bread. I would give that four out of five plus. Not to ignore the hummus, just go ahead and dive in here. Nice fresh hummus, and the herbs are a nice extra touch. I'm going to give it my same 4 out of 5. Now here I have the pomegranate acai drink. We get this every time we come here, and sometimes we even come and get it to go. I really like this drink. It's very light and refreshing. It's got vitamin water in it. And it tastes like an enhanced version of vitamin water. I think that's why I like it so much. Plus the pieces of pomegranate. It's like a four out of five drinks. It's definitely worth stopping around World Showcase to get. If you have been so involved in this channel that you've seen some of our Drinking Around the World videos, we have like three or four now, or you follow us on Instagram, Reddit, TikTok, somewhere on one of those uh, platforms, you've seen us mention the pomegranate acai. The to-go bar here at Spice Road Table is one of the most underrated bars around World Showcase. Rarely has line, even when it does, it goes extremely fast. Plus there's water to drink while you wait. Uh, always hydrate yourself, it's hot out here. Little pomegranates, vitamin water, and alcohol. Hydrate while you dehydrate, I guess is what the saying goes. Cheers. Mm. It feels healthy and bad for you all at the same time. You have that four out of five plus. Here we have the beautiful tagine. We've had this once before when it was just added to the menu and now we are back to try it again. It looks basically the same as it did the last time. I'm just gonna take some of it. Oop, there we go. And I'm gonna put it on the plate here. It reminds me of being at like restaurant Marrakech in Newport Beach. Just straight Moroccan restaurant. You want the tea being poured high, you want a belly dancer, everything is amazing, it's so flavorful. Restaurant Marrakesh used to have a dish kind of like this, but not as flavorful. And I think that if Restaurant Marrakesh reopened, 
they should serve something like this because this is this is really good. This is an enhancement of what they used to have. It's really amazing, beautifully flavored. I love it. I would give it a 4.75 out of 5 tagines. Tangine here is a what I would definitely call like the most shareable portion. It's also the newest thing on the menu, but it is a huge portion. If you get this by yourself, this is basically your meal for the day. It is absolutely massive, and I love that they serve it in a traditional tangine. Uh, go ahead and dive right in here. A little bit of the sauce, a little bit of the couscous, the chickpeas in here. Mm. Something Moroccan food does savor it, balancing the savory and the sweet. The knife like mouthfeel all the way around, even though there's some different textures, they all say flow well together. It's like that flavor flows to the tip of your tongue. Uh, I definitely think this is something that everybody here must try. If you come here and you don't want to get everything, like I suggested previously, definitely get this at the very least. I give this four and a half out of five plus. So here we have a pomegranate um, cauliflower. This is one of my favorite dishes that they have here. It used to be served on like a longer dish, but now it's a smaller little bowl and I think it, it kind of gives a better little real estate for the cauliflower. The way that they just fry these and crisp them up, it's amazing with the sauce, like beautiful. Literally one of the best cauliflowers on Disney property. It's a five out of five, it's a princess city's item. You must cauliflower in your life. If you like cauliflower at all, you gotta try this. Delicious fried crispy cauliflower. Again, it's like broken up. Like these are terrible portions. Bring three friends. Uh, I like the breading, nice and thick, nice and sauce. Mm. Mm. Sweet, crispy, sauce is delicious. That is top tier cauliflower. If you find better cauliflower around Walt Disney World, tell us when you know. I give that five out of five call. It's on the bigger sessions list now, and probably always. The hummus fries, much smaller than they used to be, especially since they used to be a festival item for food and wine back like 2018, 2019. Now they're here at Spice Road Table. We get them every time that we come. Oop, oop, oop. Here we go. Cheers. It just falls apart in your mouth like a beautiful piece of hummus with a nice little kick on it. I love that. It's always good. I'm gonna put some of the Dolmas lemon on that. Just give it a little more oomph. I would give it a four out of five hummus fries. Get a hummus fry in your life. You need to try it. Like it's a really unique way to eat hummus. These hummus fries really should be their signature dish. We actually included the hummus fries in our uh, top Disney World fry video because they are basically fries. They just have me made out of chickpeas instead of potatoes. Top with the cucumber, a little relish with a little dipping sauce. We like a good dipper. We like a stick to hold said sauce because hummus fries are just vessels for sauce, right? I feel like over the years they have further perfected and refined the hummus fries in the beginning. I hated them. When they were greasy, I thought the spices were off, the flavors were out of balance. But now, they feel just right. Every single time we, get, we come here, we get these. We really have a hard time not ordering everything we come here. It requires restraint that we just, frankly, do not have. I would give it 4.25 out of 5. Minutes. Number 12. Our beautiful dolmas, they're way smaller than they used to be, but I ordered two portions because I always have to get two. It's like as Persian as I'm gonna get, this lemon on top. Oh, if you like grape leaves, you really gotta try this. Oh, that beautiful rice in there. This is the stuff that dreams are made of. This is fire, this is a five out of five. This is a princess piece item. You gotta try dolmas. If you haven't, get it. You have Dolmas, these little grape leaf wrap delights. I know, these are not the prettiest looking things if you're not an adventurous food person. I suggest every time you come to a place, it doesn't have to be a called table, you get one thing you like, one thing you don't like, or had never had, rather. Expand your horizons bit by bit. These are delicious. And that flavor is exactly what you have to order too. 
even though most things here are shareable portion, these are really hard to share. And that five out of five claws, it's on my bear says he's list, without a doubt. So what we have here is the spice chicken. Meat eaters, we have not forgotten about you. Even though you need to explain your varieties a bit, food is just food. The meat here is just as good as anything else, but we've come to it. So we have the spice chicken with a nice herbed yogurt. Got a little pieces of pita bread in here. They're almost like pita crackers at this point. So you can eat it with a fork, eat it however you like. Nice, tasty grilled chicken, chopped up with the herb yogurt. It's given Persian food vibes. For those of you new here, yes, the princess is Persian. And she makes a good vegan Persian spread. We're coming here, it's something which we had in a legit Persian restaurant somewhere in Orlando. There used to be one in Jacksonville, we went to all the time. Not anymore, but if you ever hear of one or hear word of one, we need to be the first ones to find out. This, I love. It's four and a half out of five plus. Beside the Persian place in Longwood. Beside the one in Longwood. Here we have the lamb kefka, served in this rectangular glass ceramic boat, also in a bed of yogurt with some blistered tomatoes. These things deserve to be served on a skewer and a stick. I suggest eating it with a tomato and all its greatness. Get all that flavor, all in one bite. Delicious, savory, grilled kefka. It's basically like ground lamb form into a ball, put on a sword or a skewer, and then cook it over a flame. All those flavors, all one bite. The yogurt helps sort of like enhance the savory. Blistered tomato is always a treat. If you've never had a blistered tomato, you're missing out. I love these lamb's, lamb kefka. My only regret is that I don't usually have room to eat more. 4.75 out of 5 plus. I think we found where all the spices ended up. They're at this road table. This is the best place for you to journey. If you don't know what you want to eat at Disney World, you want to try something new and different. You go here. This is definitely the place for you. Yes, but I, it's criminally underrated how many people don't go to Spice Road Table. I know the obviously since the Morocco movie has been in a constant state of being nothing over the past, you know, Changing. four to five years. It, it's coming along bit by bit, but in the meantime, Enjoy Spice Road Table while it's the reservations fireworks. are easy to get. Yeah. Yes. And it's still an awesome spot for the fireworks. But I don't know what you guys think. Given what you've seen in this video, would you come to Spice Road Table? Should. Let us know in the comments below. Now, if there's anything else you can see us do, of course, those comments will also be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear will eat himself into the new flower plant. I live here now. You heard the girl.